Welcome on into the Rock and Refuel Recruiting Roundup. He's Jason Jewell. I'm Jordan Ham. We're going over everything recruiting related. If it's in the state of Arizona, we are covering it. And Jason, one player gets two offers this week. Pretty light in terms of the quantity of offers, but a couple of big time ones for a Notre Dame playmaker. So a lot of people have been talking to me about uh, Jake Smith from Notre Dame Prep. He's a junior 2019 prospect. And I've been hearing about this kid since he was in youth football. Some coaching colleagues of, of mine have been talking about him since he was playing freshman football and you know he, he missed part of last year with an injury but gosh he's come out with a bang uh, this year as a junior had 277 yards receiving last week uh, against St. Mary's uh, scored four touchdowns uh, and he was rewarded he ends up getting two power five offers he gets an offer first from Vanderbilt and then Illinois comes and, and follows up and offers him you're talking about a kid that's over six foot over 180 pounds is versatile can play in the secondary plays running back plays wide receiver I think this is just a tip of the iceberg on the offers that this kid's going to get because this film is fantastic. And now our player of the week. We're coming to the special team side of the football uh, with a guy from Peoria. Yeah, I don't know that we've had a special teams guy uh, earn this award and, and all the uh, rock and refield recruiting roundups we've done. But uh, Jawan Price, he's a return man from Peoria High School. He had two kickoff return touchdowns last week against Marcos Deniza, and they were both long ones. One was 90 yards, and the other one was 88 yards. This is not something that you see every week in high school football. Really solid week of competition this upcoming week on Friday. Friday. Uh, maybe the best game though is on Thursday with Pinnacle and Centennial and this is two styles clashing. Yeah, definitely. You're talking about, uh, you know, Pinnacle with Spencer Rattler being all spread and then Centennial with their big massive offensive line and Zidane Thomas running the football. It's a game that I will be at. Very excited uh, to go to it. Centennial does a great job, uh, you know, hosting their games. It's a great atmosphere over there. I think it's going to be a big time game. It'll be fun to see uh, Spencer Rattler against that Centennial secondary led by Dom Hampton. For sure. uh, week zero, I saw him with two pick sixes. So a uh, really good playmaker, Washington commit over there. Uh, in terms of games we are going to this week, uh, you have a pretty good one with a couple of West Side teams. Yeah, I'm going to stay right by my house. I live right by Liberty and I'm going to go see Verado. They're traveling to Liberty High School. Verado coming off that huge upset win uh, over Williamsfield, ended Williamsfield lo uh, long uh, uh, win streak. And then uh, a Liberty team that's, uh, you know, lost last week to a very good Sunrise Mountain team, um, you know, down in 4A. So I think both these teams uh, is going to be a very good game. Uh, Verado's had some very good athletes in the past. I think Liberty has one of the most underrated secondaries in the entire state of Arizona. So I think it's going to be a great game to go to. I'll be at Chaparral and Williamsfield. Both teams coming off of loss, like you mentioned, with Williamsfield. Chaparral travel, traveled to Valencia in California, uh, took the loss. But this will be Jack Miller's Arizona debut, uh, the highly touted quarterback uh, who transferred in from Scottsdale Christian Academy. Uh, and these are two of the really good potential contenders in 5A. So excited to see that. So we have a lot of really good games this upcoming week. If you happen to be at one of those and on social media, make sure to use our Friday night 360 AZ hashtag and keep it right here on the Rock and Refuel Recruiting Roundup for all recruiting updates.